Bald one. <laughs> Emmy, I had no idea you were in the CIA. I am. Isn't that exciting? Congratulations <laughs> oh on Thank your you. career. It's top secret. All right, so yeah. CIA, not the CIA Criminal Intelligence Authority or right, whatever right, that's. Right. No, no, for. no. Brooklyn only. Brooklyn only CIA. It is the Corridor Improvement Authority. Um, we actually have a group of volunteers in Brooklyn, business owners and residents that are in charge of basically finding opportunities to create economic and neighborhood development projects. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about this and we are embarking on a strategic plan nice. to kind of look forward to Brooklyn's future. You know, the next yeah. like 5, 10, 20 years, there's a lot of things that can happen when you're talking about economic and neighborhood right. development projects. Like that is a whole gamut of things. So we're just really excited about starting that and we have a survey out right now that we would love anyone who lives, works, shops, plays, visits, drives mm -hmm. through. Yeah, like if you have an opinion about what Brooklyn should have or be like, we want you to take the survey. I think Brooklyn should have a Ross dress for less. Oh my God, would you stop no, it? But, um, <laughs> Stars, but this Andrew. But this is great because you know people live, work, and play in Brooklyn. There's been a lot of investment. and mm -hmm. but uh, So what are you hearing so far? What, what do you think people, what is it that people want? Well, the survey covers a lot of different things. Um, it sort of like starts out with, you know, what do you love about Brooklyn? What do you not want to see change about Brooklyn? And it also gets into really specific things like what time and day of the week do you go shopping? Like, uh. you know, when should these shops be open? Because, you know, sometimes people are, you know, not happy with the hours and things. Or um, should we have more public spaces? Mm -hmm. Should we, there's a place where you can add, you know, three to five businesses that you would like to see in Brooklyn. Mm. And that's where people are really gonna. Yeah. Give so us I've taken the yeah. survey, okay. and, it, and it talks about housing. Mm -hmm. It talks about commercial development mm -hmm. and bringing jobs, mm -hmm. um, and, and a gamut of jobs. Yeah. Like we have, you know, a beautiful retail sector on our boulevard, but you know, we could use some manufacturing, some sure. tech, some additional mm -hmm. office space. Exactly. Um, and so mm -hmm. I would really, really love it if we could put that up on the screen one more time. Uh, if you take a picture of it with your phone, if you go, if you open up your camera and put it right on that scan me um, click on the little yellow icon that comes up and it will take you right to the survey and the village of Brooklyn and all the residents would really appreciate your feedback um, our population almost doubles in the summer mm -hmm. it does it does it's really crazy there's only I think it's just shy of 1400 residents in the village proper but you know the area around it and all the surrounding communities there's tons more than that so and you and Taylor and your girls are four of those yes, residents yes, so are, yes Emmy, tell our viewers a little bit about, about you, where, where you grew sure, up and how sure. you came back. Well, I grew up in Brooklyn, not in the village proper, but outside of town in the country. Um, I grew up, I went to school, I graduated from Columbia, I went to Michigan State, moved to Chicago, met my husband, had kids, we lived there for 20 years. And um, I'd say after we had kids, we were starting to talk a lot more about moving back because we were visiting quite a lot. All of our family was here. so. Um, eventually, once COVID hit, we were like, well, let's just do it. Let's make the move. So we did. We renovated a house in the village, and we are delighted. We love it. Like, we just couldn't love being in the village more. It's so charming and wonderful. We rode scooters down to get ice cream yesterday. I yeah, think, I ran I think my husband and my daughter ran into you later in the day. So, um, you know, it's just, it's just a great place to be, and we're really happy to be back. And it's exciting times for you because yeah. you are uh, doubling down. You're opening a restaurant in Brooklyn. We are, yes, <laughs> yes. So many topics. Oh, my gosh. So um, tell us a little bit about uh, Atlas. Atlas. Okay, well, Atlas is sort of derived from when we moved back from Chicago. We loved everything about being here, except we were missing a lot of that different cuisine that we could always get in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Like, you could pick up anything you wanted on your way home like it was just you know you were just very pampered so atlas is going to be um a lot of like world flavors but locally sourced as much as possible fresh ingredients we just wanted to do something a little different that people around here just aren't really getting mm -hmm. so so we people are work. excited. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to say excited slash anxious because I know yes, you get the same yes, question yes. all the time, but it's a work in progress. It is. We just got some great news the other day. We are expecting to get our permits to get started in the next couple weeks. Awesome. Yay. So yeah, it's, it's, it's been a longer process than we hoped or planned, but 
it's going to be worth the wait. I think you sent a visual, didn't you? Of we did. I think we, yeah, we saw put it. Up. It yeah. looked wonderful. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. awesome. So they've worked really hard on the design. They're already working on the menu. They have an executive chef mm -hmm. hired. Um, they're really trying to create that cool neighborhood yes. um, locale, but also like when people are visiting or when you want to celebrate something uh, or you absolutely. want to do something, mm -hmm. you know, just a little extra, it's mm -hmm. going to encompass all of that. And it will yeah. have burrata. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah, we were looks, yesterday, yeah. It looks yeah, wonderful. Th the picture definitely it doesn't have any people in it, so it certainly looks a little more stuffy and sterile, but it's not going to be a fancy like shirt and tie kind of place. Mm -hmm. Like I would go yeah. in my jeans or shorts yep. and flip flops. Like it's going to there be just again. fun. Come as you are. Yeah, come yeah. as you are. The food's going to be great. We've been doing so many tastings with our chef. She is fabulous and we just are super excited. If you need a volunteer for that, Emma, <laughs> please send me an SOS. There's anytime. been a lot of people that have volunteered yeah. oh, okay, for that. Fine. Yeah. I'll tell give you a us, call uh, next time. Before we, uh, before we let you go, tell us a little bit about uh, Foxtail Flower Farm. Oh my goodness, yes. Foxtail Flower Farm. So before we moved back from Chicago, I, um, I had quit my job as a landscape architect and I was doing the stay-at-home mom thing. Mm -hmm. But um, the girls and I were back and forth a lot to visit family over the summer, so I started this little flower plot at my mom's property, which is where I grew up, my mom and my stepdads. Um, they have 40 acres and I was just, you know, using a little corner of this and it has grown wow. um, exponentially. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, I sell most of my flowers wholesale um, to a couple of florists, particularly like Angels in Brooklyn, but I'm also a member of a co-op where we sell our flowers to Ann Arbor and Detroit area florists. Awesome. Nice. So I do, um, like this is a picture from last summer when we did um, the farmer's market at Kate's art school parking lot. I didn't participate in that this year, just we just had too much going on. Yeah. But um, we do have some retail opportunities. If, yeah, um, I have a local Jackson bride this weekend who's picking up or I'm delivering some DIY buckets for her just nice. to do things for like her wedding reception. So oh, we fun. do that kind of thing as well. So. If you need flowers, let me know. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. I don't know when you guys sleep, but I'm <laughs> so glad you came back to invest and, yeah. and share your talents great with the yeah. Irish Hills. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting. So again, if you'd like to hear from people on uh, the Brooklyn Corridor Improvement Authority, you have the survey out. Exactly. We'll show that again. Um, and you want people, uh, you want people's opinions. You want to gather some data. Yeah, we want to hear from as many people as we can. Awesome. So, did, yeah. What did you put? in there? <laughs> oh, well, I need Atlas. Yeah. Um, I need a wine bar. Um, <laughs> I need men's clothing. Mm -hmm. I need kids clothing. Mm. I need shoes. Okay. Yeah, you, I need yes. a lot. I guess. Yeah, you yes. might want to. Yeah, you probably, you probably <laughs> filled that out. But there was room for me to put everything. That's what you said? Yeah, yeah. It's funny. My husband just posted a thing on Facebook last night. I think it's on the Brooklyn News Group. And um, it was basically like, if you could snap your fingers and, you know, any shop, new shop in town that's something different, what would it be? And I think within like four hours, there were like 100 responses or something yeah. like hmm. that. So everybody has opinions. Let's hear what they are. It'd be interesting yeah. if Ross Dress for Less was on. <laughs> Stop <laughs> talking about that. Hey, thank you so much for being with us. Good thank luck you. with the, uh, the new restaurant yeah, and uh, everything in Brooklyn. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Abby, thank you, Abby Baldwin here on The Morning Show. We'll be back right after this.